coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned. The FAA implements changes for recreational drone flyers. Lilium Electric Air Taxi takes its first flight. And FAI details the upcoming International Drone Conference and Expo. Welcome to Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned. In partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. I'm Sophie Herlock. The FAA has implemented some changes for recreational drone flyers. Drone operators can still fly below 400 feet in uncontrolled airspace without specific certification or authority from the FAA. However, they are now required to get prior authorization from the FAA before flying in controlled airspaces around airports. This replaces the old requirement to notify the airport operator and air traffic control tower before flying within 5 miles of an airport. For now, air traffic control will not be accepting requests to operate drones in controlled airspace. Instead, the FAA will be granting temporary airspace authorizations to fly in certain fixed sites in the area. Another new provision will require recreational flyers to pass an aeronautical knowledge and safety test, which they must show to the FAA or law enforcement upon request. You can continue to fly without obtaining a remote pilot certificate if you meet the eight statutory conditions of Section 349 of the Act described in a Federal Register Notice. Now let's take a quick look at some stories making rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. It's time for our Unmanned Minute. The Langley Aerodome No. 8 is NASA's newest modular unmanned aerial system for urban air mobility. This is a new effort in aeronautics to look at urban flight, both unmanned flight so package delivery type vehicles all the way up to manned vehicles that may carry six or eight people at one time. The FAA is using its existing authority under Section 99.7 Special Security Instructions to restrict drone operations over select facilities and assets. Special security instructions have been established to restrict drone operations in airspace up to 2,000 feet MSL near U.S. territorial and navigable waters. These restrictions specifically prohibit drone flights in this airspace within a standoff distance of 3,000 feet laterally and 1,000 feet above any U.S. Navy vessel. DJI stated that nine of its drone models will comply with the latest Transport Canada regulation for advanced drone operation in controlled airspace. The compliant drones are the M600 series, the M200 series, M200 V2 series, Inspire 2, Mavic 2 series, Mavic Pro, Mavic Air Phantom 4 series, and Spark. Customers will be able to continue using these drones after June 1st, when the Transport Canada's new regulatory framework for civilian drone operations take effect. The European Union and South Korean government awarded $9.3 million to the International Respond Drone Consortium, made up of 20 partners from 12 countries, to develop and apply a situational awareness system in emergency situations, providing critical information and communication services to first responders. Now back to the rest of the news. Lilium's five-seater air taxi prototype, the Lilium Jet, took its first maiden unmanned flight in Germany earlier this month. The full-scale and weight prototype is powered by 36 all-electric jet engines that allow vertical takeoff and landing while also achieving horizontal flight. With a top speed of 169 knots and a range of 160 nautical miles, the jet is capable of long journeys. While many drone-based aircraft consume much of their energy keeping themselves in the air, the Lilium jet can rely on the lift generation by the fixed wings to do this, meaning it will require less than 10% of its maximum 2,000 horsepower during cruise flight. The remotely controlled prototype aircraft has now begun a rigorous flight test campaign. The jet will be part of an on-demand air taxi service, and Lilium expects to be fully operational in various cities around the world by 2025. 
FAI has announced its International Drone Conference and Expo 2019, which takes place in Lausanne, Switzerland, September 13th through the 15th, will include a conference exclusively for professionals and a new symposium open to the public. The FAI and DIAS International Drone and Digital Aviation Conference will be for professionals only and will bring together drone experts to present and discuss the key developments, opportunities, and challenges of the drone and digital aviation industry. The Public AI and EPFL International Drone Symposium will include debates by drone experts and presentations on drone innovation, esports, and simulators. For more information, head to fai.org slash drone dash conference. And that's it for us today. For more information on the world of all things unmanned, check out auvsi.org or airborne-unmanned.net. Thanks for watching and I'll see you right back here tomorrow.